In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a Minecraft sword. Here I am in Illustrator. I just grabbed it off the internet. And I've also opened it up in Photoshop here just to grab the colors. Let's start in Illustrator. File New. And let's do 5x5. Five five. So I'm going to copy this and just paste it here. This is just going to be my guide. And I'm going to make the transparency at, say, 40%. Then I'm going to lock this layer or this selection so that uh, whenever I try to move something, it's not going to move. So let's zoom in. And we'll start off with a square. Just click anywhere on your artwork, and you can type in whatever number you want. Let's do a 0.4. 0.4. That's a little big, so let's make it a little bit smaller. Hold shift just to make that square. So let's count how many we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's go back into Photoshop and grab that green. Zoom in. Use my color picker, copy this hex code, go back into Illustrator, paste it here, and then drag this into your swatch. I normally get rid of all the other colors so I don't get confused. So let me just delete all these other colors here. So I have the white, black, and my green. That does look like a dark green, but um, just for the sake of this example, we'll use the colors that we got off the internet. Okay, so we got nine going down. So Control C or Command C, Command F to paste in place. And then we're gonna drag it down here. We wanna zoom in really close. The maximum you can see down here is at 6400, we'll bring you as close as you can get. Okay, so zoom back out. And to speed it up, you can just click on both. Command C, Command F to place in exact place. And let's zoom in again. So if I grab all, Command C, Command F, which is paste in place and just hold shift I can drag it on the same axis. So again, zoom in really close just to get that point. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so let's copy this whole thing paste in place and just drag it down over here. And this might be off. So the only way to fix it is if I just do this corner here. So I know that there's one, two, three. So yes, you can see I'm a bit off there. So let me zoom out and fix that. Okay, let's zoom out and see where we are at. Okay, let's do the center here. And we're going to grab that gray from Photoshop, which is right here. Copy and paste here. And drag it into your swatches. So we know that it goes down the center, so I'm going to copy and paste this one here and just drag it, make that gray. And we're going to continue that down this line. Okay, and then we're going to fill in these ones here that are missing. So let's go back into Photoshop, grab that color. Okay. 
paste. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either make a square and fill each one, or you can just do a huge rectangle and place it in the background. So let's just try that and see what happens. Okay, let me just make that, send that to back. Now you're not gonna see it because this picture is in the way. So I'm gonna unlock all, grab this picture and make this picture go to the back. And there it is, you can see that right there. And I'm gonna lock this picture again. And there's a little error down here, so let's just fix that. You can use this selection tool here. The direct selection tool will let you grab the point. Some of my pieces are just a bit off, but you get the idea. That's just a quick and easy way to do it. Okay, let's reference our picture again here in Photoshop. So there's a green going down here and three up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm missing one from each one here, which means I gotta make this gray one just a little bit longer. Okay, and then there's gonna be three going that way. And then one over and one down. Okay, let's reference this picture again here. And then it looks like this square goes down one more time here. And then it ventures off into a diagonal I know the background is kind of useless right now, but I'm just going to keep it there. So let's zoom out and see. All right, that looks about right. And in between those ones are this dark gray right here. So let's copy and paste that. Again, you can also use the shortcut of just drawing a huge rectangle. Maybe we should just do that. So I'm gonna draw a point here. Again, this is the lazy way to do it. Okay, let's put this in the background. Arrange, send to back. Now we just have to unlock this object and send that to back first as well. Okay, I see something a little off here. So I think, let me just lock this first. I think there's one right here. Yep. And then there's another one right there. Now you can always zoom in and make these super tight. You can see these lines are not butting up against each other. So. Okay, let's continue on down over here. So let's reference back into Photoshop. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna copy this, paste. Okay, and that one there is the dark gray. I'm just gonna copy, actually I'll just copy a square here and just make this the gray. And let's just grab this brown. So these are way off. I'm just gonna grab these and move them. Okay, let's grab that last brown in Photoshop here, it's the darker brown. Paste it in Illustrator. Okay, we can fiddle around with this forever, but this is the gist of it. So let's zoom out. 
And I'm going to just delete this background, unlock all. Okay, now you can see some of the imperfections. So let's just go and fix these real quick. All right, so there you go.